In today's video, we're going to be going over wait at the door. So what I'm going to work with Oliver on is that he should wait before we go through the door, and I prefer him to sit. Right now, I'm really happy he's laying down. That's very nice. So what I would like to see is that I walk up to the door, I tell Oliver wait, he sits, I open up the door, he remains there, and then I say, let's go, and we both go through the door together. Okay. I'm going to show you how we teach that. Let's go, Oliver. So, I have a piece of food in my left hand. Oliver, let's go. Oliver, wait. Yes. So, I had a nice sit there. I tell him, stay, or wait is supposed to be there, but I give him the hand signal. Ah, ah, ah. He gets up. Give him a little bit of a correction. He goes back to sitting. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Yes. Close it. Release. Okay. You did so good, Oliver. Oliver, wait. Yes. Yes. Oliver, let's go. Very nice, buddy. So that's what I want it to look like. So now we're going to go through it how I would like it to be whenever you walk up to the door. Remember, you have to work on this. Oliver, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Oliver, wait. Yes. Let's go. Beautiful. So. You should do this before you exit the front door or exit the back door. If you're consistent, what he will see is an invisible barrier. He is not allowed to cross without your permission. So, he's doing really well. Good job, Oliver.